One of the problems with modern cricket is this overemphasis of rational, logical analysis. Bordering on obsessive scientism. When a new player enters into the cricketing world, there is this unhealthy desire to categorise him into exactly what role he would play in a team, what strengths and weaknesses he has, and exactly where, what the trajectory of his career will likely be. Now some of this is obviously necessary in order to build a team. You have to know what your team you have to know what your players' skills are in order to construct a well organized, well strategized unit. But the tendency towards over rationalized analysis leads to typecasting where you just have vague, stereotypical groups that people get pushed into and often these are not and often when you are dealing with real human beings what you find is that these narrow, rigid groups don't really fit because humans can change over time, grow, try things and discover that they are actually completely different to what it was believed. And so there have been a few examples over the course of the history of cricket where a player has dramatically changed the trajectory of his career by breaking out of a particular typecast that he was placed into and entering into a completely different group. So in this way they have jumped ship, have jumped from one sitting into one category to another. Now, of course, there is a long history of this happening, of players over the course of their careers beginning in one group and then ending up in another. We can go all the way back to Wilfred Rhodes. When Wilfred Rhodes began his career as a young man in his early 20s. He was a primarily a spin bowler and he batted at 11. He was considered awful at batting and he was just primarily a bowler. But over the course of 25 years of having a playing career he got better at batting slowly and slowly, was able to move up the batting order bit by bit until the end of his career where he was actually opening the batting for England in test matches, which is a dramatic turnaround. And so, in modern cricket, there's a bit of a paradox here, because in modern cricket, we have seen the game become ultra, ultra rationalised, where there is deep critical analysis of statistics and data in order to find the perfect players to do the perfect roles in order to make the perfect team. And yet, at this very time when deep, rational, over-scientific analysis is happening to cricket, where there's an abandonment of the human qualitative element and, o and an over-obsession with the quantitative, at that exact same moment, we have seen a number of players jump ship over the course of their careers, taking Wilfred Rhodes as their example. It's as if fate is trying to say to the cricket world that what, that how they go about analysing their cricket is wrong and they need to reconsider it. And so all of these players are taking a leaf from Wilfred Rhodes' book and are over the course of their career shifting what their career roles are. So let's just go through a few examples and you can see what I'm talking about.